Well, uh, they're going to start back up. They're, they were off yesterday uh, as much as uh, the company wanted to talk. The union uh, decided that they weren't going to be talking yesterday. They announced their strike. Um, and so uh, we're here. They're on the picket line right now, and they will go back to the table today. Much to talk about there. But first, we'll talk about what's happening here. They get the picketers out here, a couple of dozen of them, uh, with their picket signs. And, of course, the white-collar workers have to come to work. And so what's happening now is that as the white-collar workers look to go across the picket line, uh, the picketers are standing in front of the cars uh, trying to sort of slow down the progress in getting in. Now, we've watched this for about the last half hour. The cars eventually get in, but not without uh, some jawing back and forth between the picketers and the white-collar workers. And uh, that'll uh, give you an idea as there's some amount of tension that still exists between management and the uh, labor people here uh, with uh, at least at this plant. Um, and, you know, given the opportunity to stop the white collar workers from getting in, uh, they're taking that opportunity here. But let's talk about what's going to happen today. Uh, they're going back to the table at 10. And the things that I've learned this morning uh, have a lot to do with posturing. That's what we have going on here. Uh, yesterday, the UAW announced this strike because uh, they felt that they only had about 2% of the contract negotiated with General Motors. These contracts are about that thick. And so they only had a little bit of effort to uh, put forward. And then General Motors put out what it was that they were offering. And I'm told that that came about an hour and a half before the announcement. Well, that happened sometime around midday or early afternoon. And so um, the UAW gets a look at what General Motors put out as their offer. And they're going, well, there's a lot that we can talk about there. And so now the company puts out their offer. The UAW says, yeah, let's talk. So now the talks will get in, uh, going in earnest today, starting at 10 o'clock. So um, it's, it's looking like we have broken the log jam here, and uh, that's where we're headed this morning. But not the log jam with the traffic. That seems like that's going to be a pretty big issue yeah. there in Lake Orion yes. with uh, each one of those vehicles that's trying to get to work being stopped there mm -hmm. by those picketers. All right, Rod, thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course.